Good morning. I believe we're live here on Facebook. And if we are, you know, give me a little comment. Say hello. Uh, say you're watching me on live right now. Put a one and put a two if you're watching me on replay. And share it if you don't mind. But anyway, the title today is, you know, nature's art is appealing. And it really is. Now, for those of you who don't know, I love to hike. I love to walk through the forest and get my exercise in and get my work done for the day. And if you're going to be productive, if you're going to get a lot done, you have to do everything possible to keep your body in fine tune. Okay? In fine tune. That means you're able to get more productivity done throughout the day if you get a little exercise in, a little walking in. So... Saying all that, I was going through the forest a couple of weeks ago, and I seen some honeysuckle vines that were growing around some trees. And when they do that, and I have several areas where they do that, it does something really unique to the tree. And if you haven't seen it, I'm going to show it to you. So anyway, I've done this before, but, you know, recently, late at night when I'm thinking and what have you, I might take about 20 minutes here and 20 minutes there and pull out my pocket knife and do a little whittling. And as I whittle, you know, here's my pocket knife. I have a sharp pocket knife and carry it with me everywhere I go. And as I do... I see things and sometimes I have to cut things and whittle on things or sharpen a, sharpen a pencil or cut a slice of tomato or whatever out of it. Anyway, I use my pocket knife religiously. I hope that you guys or gals, either one, if you, if you don't have a favorite pocket knife, I suggest that you get one. I like case knives myself. I've had a lot of them over the years. Now, talking about nature being the art that's appealing. This is my new walking stick that I can walk through the forest with. Okay, so let me kind of give you perspective here. I'll step back. Now, I didn't do all this art. Nature did. In fact, this tree was growing like this. Okay? And a honeysuckle vine was growing around it, and it was choking it out, and it was causing the tree to grow around that honeysuckle vine, as you can see. Take a look at this. Isn't this amazing? Beautiful. Beautiful. And it makes, especially if you find one the right size, obviously you want the thicker end at the top and the thinner end at the bottom. And yes, you can still see a lot of my whittling marks on it. I'm going to put a stain on it. I'm going to put a dark stain on it to make it look a certain way. Nothing fancy. I'm not carving a snake into it or a duck's head or anything like that. But this made the perfect walking stick. And it's just the right size for me. This is, and, and even the groove right here. If you can see the groove, it fits perfect in my hand as I grab hold of it. It gives me a good grip. Now, but look at the beauty of the way that nature itself helped me carve out the perfect walking stick. Isn't this beautiful? Nature. Nature has a way of doing things that just absolutely amazes us. This is just me taking the bark off, taking it down through the ambient layer, getting it down to the wood, whittling it down, sanding it some, and having it the right length. So it's not that big of a deal. It is time consuming. Actually, the honeysuckle vine, getting it out of those deep grooves, these grooves are deep. Getting this honeysuckle vine out of those deep grooves was not easy. In fact, it's, it's a twisted vine. 
It's a very fibrous vine. It's not easy to cut through. It's not easy to work with. It's actually much harder than the wood. It would be easier for me to cut through the wood than it would for me to cut this vine out of here where it was really deep. In fact, there's one or two areas on here that I had to open up and to carve out to make it look like it wasn't uh, that way. You know, I actually had to modify it a little bit and cut it deeper, widen out the space so I could get that vine and chisel that vine out just because it had grown up, the wood had grown around the vine and you couldn't even see the vine. In fact, it was right here in this area. I can't even stick my little finger down in that groove. Now, I don't know about you, you can go to any store and get a walking stick. You can get them made out of, um, you can get them made out of anything from aluminum to uh, carbon fiber to fiberglass, wood. You can find them in convenience stores where they're laying over there. It's just a stick of wood. This right here to me is unique. This is going to be with me for a while. I'm going to hike a lot with this over the next couple of years, and. There's going to be a lot of people who get to see this as I walk past them. Anyway, thought I would show you some nature and how that the art of nature appeals to me. And I hope it does you as well as you see how this turned out. Absolutely gorgeous, right? Anyway, happy Saturday, and I hope that your day is blessed and that you have a beautiful weekend and a safe weekend and that you put God first and family first. God bless.